Hey guys, welcome to my channel Harsha Education and today we are going to take a lead code question which is to some problem and this is a very important question because you will get asked this question in many of the interviews. So yeah, you should definitely look into this question, right? So uh, the question is um, you will be given an array, right? And you'll be given an target number. So you have to find the indexes of two number which will sum up to this target number. So in this question, the our answer array is zero and one because the index, uh, the number at uh, index zero is two, and the number at index one is seven, which will sum up to nine, right? So you have to give the index of two numbers from this array, which will sum up to this target number. Uh, similarly, the second example is three to four target number is 6 so 3 and 2 would sum up to 5 2 and 4 would sum up to 6 so we have our solution so our solution array is 1 and 2 which would sum up to the 6 right so we have to return the indexes of the numbers which sum up to the target number right over here we have 3 and 3 and the target number is 6 so the value is 0 and 1 right so to explain you how it works um, the very brute, for, brute force approach which will come into your mind is we can you know obviously uh, compare each of these value with all the number in the array and whenever we have you know the matching index which will target to 9 will return that right that would cause us o n of square time complexity which we do not want obviously so how do we do it in o of n complexity so let's see so let's say we have these numbers right 2 7 11 13 8 and 3 and the target number is 4 so the two number which would sum up to this target number is 11 and 3 so our solution array is 2 and 5 how do we get to this so what we can do is we can always find the complement number of each of these numbers so let's say we have two so we'll find the complement of this number so the complement of this number after deducting 2 from 14 uh, would be uh, you know 12 so we'll look for 12 in this array we don't have 12 right so we'll return nothing uh, similarly we'll look for 7 uh, 7's complement would be 7 um, so we we can't return the same number so same index twice so that's not the answer 11 will look 11's complement is 3 after deducting 11 from 14 the 11 uh, complement is 3 so we'll look for 3 in this array and that is at the position of fifth so how do we do this search how do we look for the complement if we look into an array it will again cause of o of n time right so that's why what we do is we put this array into a dictionary first so this is my dictionary uh, you can call it hash table as well so in swift we call a dictionary we call a dictionary so it's like key value pair right so we will keep all these numbers as key and the values would be its indexes in the array right so 2 is at index of 0 in the array so we have kept 2 as key and 0 as value 7 is at index of 1 so 7 is key 1 as value 11 at index of 2 so 11 is key 2 as value 13 at index of 4 oh sorry 3 so 13 and the key is 3 uh, similarly 8 and 3 would be at 4 and 5 indexes right so what we have to do we just have to go through each of these keys in this uh, dictionary and look for its complement right uh, in this dictionary right so let's say uh, a similar thing uh, for 2 we'll be looking for the complement uh, complement of 2 would be 12 we'll look for 12 in this dictionary it's not there we return nothing we'll look for 7's complement 7's complement is 7 again so we don't return the same index so we'll have to specify this in our condition that it shouldn't uh, return the same index which we are looking for right and then 11 11 is 
uh, 11th complement would be 3 after deducting 11 from 14 that would be 3 right so 3 in this dictionary it is available and the index of 5 so when we look for 3 it would definitely return uh, the index of 5 so we got our solution array that is 2 and 5 let's code it so first thing we have to have a dictionary so this is my dictionary of an int and int only right then um, of course we wanted a var because we'll be adding value in our dictionary so let's make it var and then we'll write a for loop with index and value right in uh, what is our this nums dot enumerated this is the function we call in swift to get to enumerate through the indexes and values right and all we have to do is dict we'll keep our values as key and index as value right this is how we do it we'll keep our values as key and indexes will be value right now uh, we'll write another for loop on the same numbers right exactly the same syntax nums dot enumerated right and then we'll have to see if we have uh, let's call it other index if we have this complement so complement would be uh, target minus this value right this current value so we'll deduct our current value from our target and that would give us complement number and we'll check if our dictionary has this complement number if it has it again uh, let's say for this number if it has 7 so we'll look for 7 again but we don't want the same index so we'll have our condition as other index is not equals to index so that we don't end up giving same index as our solution index right should be in return and we'll have we can return index and other index right and otherwise if you don't have anything we'll just return zero and zero zero and zero is everything correct any grammar any syntactual error okay doesn't look like let's run our code come on oops what is it uh, other index in solution swift use of unresolved oh I forgot n okay okay so this is accepted let's run some other test cases let's run this one 3 and 3 uh, yeah we don't want this let's keep 6 run okay yep so let's submit our code and see if it's correct okay this is correct right so yeah so this is all o n uh, time complexity uh, all we did is kept everything in a dictionary look for the complement number in the dictionary if it is available we'll return our dictionary index and the current loop in index as our solution uh, one more thing is we if you don't want this for loop you can just keep this in over here right and we can remove this and in this case we don't even want uh, we, we don't even want to check this because by the time we'll add all the numbers uh, the similar number will be gone right so basically uh, while looping through the elements we are adding those elements in our dictionary as well right so just to make the uh, explanation more clear i had written two for loops that solution is fairly simple and valid also but this is much better because we are writing only one for loop so one is always better than the two for loops so yeah 
so we can submit this as well this should be accepted as well okay this is maybe this was much better than the last one i don't know but yeah uh, I don't think so. two for loops and one for loops makes any difference because n plus n is always you know two of n n into n is not good n plus n is fine so yeah okay so this was the solution for two sum problem uh, I'll be making more videos on more solution of our lead code questions in Swift so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do click on that subscribe button and like and share and comment with your friends thank you so much bye bye